this video is for our kindergarten and first grade team for August week two. And all month long, we are learning about the virtue of love, showing others how much they matter to you. And our memory verse for this month says, here is what love is. It is not that we loved God. It is that he loved us and sent his son to give his life to pay for our sins. 1 John 4, 10. So learning what true love is. Last week we learned that we can love God by loving others. And we are actually journeying through the whole Bible this year. So last week just kind of talked about the whole theme of the Bible is love. Well, this week... We are going back to the creation narrative in Genesis 1 through 2, and we're going to read how God created the world, and it was good. God created people, Adam and Eve, to live in the world, enjoy it, and cultivate it. And Adam and Eve had a close personal relationship with God and with each other. God created people to care for each other and to work together to care for everything that God made. So our bottom line, God made us to take care of each other. From the beginning, God knew that we needed each other. We need people to take care of us, and we need people that we can take care of too. God made the world out of love, and we can share God's love with our relationships by being there for each other no matter what. So that is our bottom line. God made us to take care of each other. So I've got your schedule on the board for the morning, and we've got birthdays. Let's jump into our leader guides. We'd love for you to join us at 8.30 and 10.30. Sorry, back it up. 8.20 and 10.20 in the garage door room for coffee and donuts. And most importantly, it's just a great time to open up the morning in prayer together. Then just make sure that you are to your small group area by 8.30 and 10.30 so that you're ready to roll. These new leader guides, I wrote you just a little note at the beginning that you can read on Sunday morning. I will also post this as a PDF so you've got it. When kids start to roll in at 8.40 and 10.40, um, they can sit on the carpet and play with toys or they've got their weekly coloring page that is underneath your cart that says, Out of Love, God Created the World. And the back side of that is also a devotional for this week. Then just make sure, because I'm sure you've got kids that haven't been here these last couple of weeks and that have moved up to kindergarten. So just make sure that you're introducing yourself and asking them their name as they come in. Then when service starts at 9 and 11, you can play a Would You Rather game. So you're going to choose two walls that kids can run to. One wall is side A and one wall is side B. You could have them sit and stand if you'd like to. And then you've got a bunch of Would You Rather questions. Just trying to get to know your kiddos. Then at 9, 10, and 11, 10, you are going to head down to a large group. When you get back from large group, you are going to pray and then eat your snack and then practice your memory verse. So before kids start to eat, Gather them into a circle. Encourage them to think of one person that they see almost every day. And give them a few minute, minute, blah, moments on their own to pray that God would help them care for that person that they've named. And then you could close down in prayer a little something like this if you want to. Or you could say your own prayer. Then while kids are eating their snack, you can open up your Bible to 1 John 4.10. Show them how the top of the page says 1 John. And then the big four is the chapter four, and the little 10 is verse 10. Then you can practice their memory verse several times with the motions. And then you can close down by saying something like this. Our verse reminds us that God loved us first. And in our Bible story, we heard that God created humankind out of love. God's whole relationship comes from love, and God invited us to be part of that love when we care for people. In fact, God made us to take care of each other. And also in your action Bibles that are on your cart, I did mark um, right at the very beginning the creation story. It is really cool in the action Bible just showing all the different days of creation. So you could read this to your kids while they are eating their snack also and it goes through creation. We are going to do Genesis 3 next week. So you would just be stopping on day 7 of creation. Then the last little thing we've got for you today is a little relay. You're going to divide your group into two teams. And then you've got this stack of cards. These are things God made. So you're going to divide them into half. And you're going to set the two piles on the opposite sides of the room. Just make sure you've got a card for every kid in your group. And you should. There's pretty many cards in there. So when you say go, you're going to challenge the kids to run, hop, tiptoe, waddle. You're going to call it out, whatever, whatever it might be. One at a time, they'll go grab a card and bring it back, and they will tag the next kid in line. The first team to collect all of their cards wins. 
And then once all the cards are collected, you're going to sit in a big circle with your kiddos and fan these cards out in front of you and point to all the things that God made. And then just wrap it up by saying something like, God made so many incredible things from the snowy white polar bears to the majestic, majestic mountains to the vast oceans to the sweet little kindergartners and first graders. God made a wonderful, wonderful world. Does anybody remember the names of the first two people that God made? Yeah, Adam and Eve, and he gave them a very important job. God wanted them to take care of creation and take care of each other, and we can too. God made us to take care of each other. So that is it, guys. We are doing the creation story this week. Again, feel free to read that to your kiddos, and what a great way to kick off going through the whole Bible in a year. Thank you guys so much for being here and serving this Sunday. You all are amazing. I am so, so grateful for you, and we'll see you on Sunday.